I'm filming a video today to share seven ways that can help you turn your hobby of sewing into a profitable business. So everyone starts from somewhere and some of these examples are aimed at beginners and some of them are aimed at more advanced sewers. If you also already make money from sewing, this video is really just trying to help you understand different ways you can basically diverse your income and create more streams to help you along your way. So for a bit of background, I started sewing about four years ago and now I have several different streams of income that help create one salary for me. I also have a background in graphic design and I do freelance as a graphic designer every now and then, pick up some odd jobs. Anyway, let's get straight into just seven different ways that you can make money from sewing online. So I'm going to start with the easiest in my opinion and that is to create your own blog and start posting affiliate links. When you start your own blog you basically just want to start posting your own makes on there to help bring people to your blog in the first place and get to know you a bit more and what you stand for and through that process you'll just gradually get people to your site and getting people reading your content and that's really important to then start using affiliate links. So affiliate links are basically links where you're going to promote a product or a company and anytime someone clicks on that link and makes a purchase, you actually make a small commission from that sale. I use affiliate links on my blog and on my YouTube videos and that does generate a bit of income every now and then. I have actually taken like a six month break from blogging without realizing it. That's something I really do actually want to put more effort into this year, but affiliate links really is such an easy way to just make extra income. So lots of different sewing companies do have affiliate programs and I actually use a website called awin.com I think I'll leave a link down below and I can access affiliate links from Minerva, myfabrics.co.uk, lots of different websites are on there and that's a really useful one to get set up onto if you want to start using affiliate links within your content. So if you're someone that wants to actually sew something physical and sell that, you can definitely start by just making and selling your own physical products. And you can use websites like eBay or Etsy or even Facebook Marketplace to get people to buy your products. So you can start by selling really simple things like tote bags, scrunchies, headbands, anything that really doesn't require any sizing because that's when you'll need to actually hold stock for the different sizes and also you might have higher returns because people might not find they fit very well and it just opens up a whole can of worms which isn't really worth it if you want something quick and easy to do. But small things like scrunchies allow you to basically batch sew them and then you just have a host of them ready for you to start selling. You can also sell these at local markets and that's a really useful way to make extra money around your area and also give back to the people in your community. And alongside that, you'd also probably want your own website where you sell things. But just keep in mind that you actually need to generate traffic to your website for people to even know that you exist. That's why things like Etsy are really useful because they're actually a marketplace and one of the pros of selling on Etsy is they basically already have a big audience and you posting a product on Etsy will then allow people just to know about your products naturally because it will just be shown up on their platform. This idea is also super great for beginners that don't want to make something too complex and don't have much time to dedicate to sewing something when you're making really small things like scrunchies or tote bags, they're really easy to knock out and you're able to sell them for a profit. I actually really wanna try doing something like that one day. I don't know why, I think the idea of actually selling something physical sounds really fun. And I personally would not like to sew clothing for people because I think that just becomes really difficult and you actually need a bigger space to do that. I don't know, the idea of sewing something cute like scrunchies or tote bags or headbands and people buying them sounds really fun. If I do that, I'll let you know. The next idea is to start creating your own sewing patterns. Now, this is definitely for the more advanced sewers. I would say that once you feel confident in your skill and you understand the basics of sewing, you can definitely start sewing and creating your own sewing patterns to sell online. So I'm going to talk specifically about digital sewing patterns because that's what my business is and I find digital patterns are much more effective if you wanna build a passive stream of income and not hold physical stock like paper patterns. So if you don't know already, I have my own line of sewing patterns called Tammy Handmade, and I basically sell really easy, beginner-friendly makes that are quite modern and stylish, and some of my best-selling patterns are 
the Leona dress, the Rhea dress, and I would actually say the Mila jumper, which is a new one that I released this year. And it's just such a nice way for me to share my skill and create something that I really enjoy doing. So once you've created a sewing pattern, you can start selling that on your own website or websites like Etsy. I actually started selling my patterns on Etsy because they already have a big marketplace and a wide range of consumers that already shop for sewing patterns on there. And I just found it really easy to use before I actually bought my own website domain and all that jazz. You can also stock your patterns on websites like The Fold Line or The Makerist, and every time someone purchases a pattern from their website, you earn a percentage of that sale. So just basically keep your options open on where you wanna sell your sewing patterns. And just keep in mind that places like The Fold Line are really useful to stock on because they have their own separate audience base and they're gonna promote your patterns to their audience. Creating sewing patterns really is such a rewarding and fun part of my income. I honestly just love seeing people People make my patterns and post them online and obviously especially when you're selling PDF patterns once you create it it is already out there and there's literally nothing for you to do of course you do have to reply to any emails correct any errors that you find and also in general just be a support system for people that might need help in sewing your sewing patterns but that's all part of the process and it's just genuinely something that I really enjoy and I definitely recommend trying out. There's so much that goes into making sewing patterns for you to consider. So if you'd like a more in-depth video about that, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get on to making that. So if you naturally love to teach and want to share your knowledge of sewing with others, then teaching online courses or tutoring might be the best option for you. You can literally teach anything from the basics of sewing to more advanced things like how to draft patterns and grade patterns. And that's kind of the beauty of actually teaching online courses. Everyone loves to learn visually or one-to-one -one, and I think that could be such a great way of making income. I don't actually do this at the moment, but it's something I'd be definitely interested in. So depending on how much time you have to commit to something like this, you can either film videos and sell them as online courses or you can actually do one-to-one -one sessions with people and then teach them within that time frame that they book you out for. So filming video courses on websites like Skillshare or Udemy are really, really useful because they're such a great form of passive income. You basically create the online content and then you upload it to their website and on Udemy, you either purchase it or on Skillshare, you sign up to their subscription. And every time someone watches it or downloads it, then you make a commission from that. I really love the quote that you only need to know more than the person you're teaching. And I think it really helps share this idea that you don't have to wait till you're an expert to start teaching or creating something. If you have knowledge about something that you wanna share, definitely start when you feel comfortable and ready to do that. I mean, you might have a really useful way that helps break down information really easy for a certain group of people. And that's why it's really important just to create stuff that you're really proud of and happy to share. I have a link down below for the Skillshare website if you wanna start creating content on there and earning money from that. So Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube are such great platforms for building and creating a community. They all have certain communities on there. I actually started my Tammy Handmade Instagram account around three years ago, and now I've amassed over 128,000 followers just on Instagram. And that alone has allowed me to secure brand deals and make money from posting content and promoting their products. The same idea goes for my YouTube channel. I do have a TikTok account, but it's still really, really small. If you wanna follow me on my TikTok account, definitely look in the description box below and I'll leave a link on where you can find my account. So I just naturally love posting about my makes and that's why I started my Instagram account. And over time, once you start doing that, you'll build a community of people that wanna hear what you have to say and enjoy seeing the content that you produce. That in itself is really, really valuable because not only have you built a community of people that are like-minded and have similar interests to you, brands will actually want to pay you to be able to promote products to the community that you've built. And that is obviously really valuable in creating income for you. Again, there's obviously so much that goes into content creation and working with brands for income. So let me know if you want a more in-depth video on my journey with that, and I'll definitely film one for you. So this is actually one of my own personal goals and something I really wanna look at within the next couple of years. But one form of income that you can definitely do is actually to write your own book. 
I've seen so many sewists in the community actually release their own sewing books and I find it such a cool and fun way to share your knowledge. So you might have noticed if you watch programs like The Great British Sewing Bee, the winner of every season always ends up releasing a book at the end of the series and that's because they have a bit more of a public image now and publishers want to work with them and use their image to sell something like a sewing book. You'll notice as well that these books are actually pretty broad and they're normally aimed at beginners in the sewing community. And I think it's just such a nice way to start earning money from your sewing. So obviously for people like that, it's really useful for them to actually start working with publishers and write a book and earn some money with their success on that show. So I'm still not 100% sure how this works, but you can either design and create your own book and then sell that yourself on your own websites, or you can obviously work with a publishers and basically pitch yourself to them on why you think working together would be beneficial for both of you. And then if they wanna work with you, I think they actually sign you for that specific book and then they take on some of the costs of launching and producing your own book and help you market it as well. So yeah, writing a book obviously would be a lot of work. I'm not saying that's an easy thing and that's something that would probably take a couple years to do but I think it's such a great idea if you are a bit more advanced and you just want a slightly different stream of income that maybe is a bit more rewarding and you're able to share your knowledge a bit more widely. So my last idea to start making money from your sewing is definitely to start your own YouTube channel and build a following so you're able to monetize it. So I started my YouTube channel, I think around two and a half years ago. And then a year ago, I finally became monetized on YouTube. So whenever you guys watch my videos or you watch adverts, I actually earn money from that. I'm not gonna lie, I obviously don't make that much money from YouTube at the moment because I'm not that consistent. I'm trying to work on that and it goes up and down every month depending on different factors. So depending how much time you have to commit to making content on YouTube will determine how much money you're able to make from doing this. But I've actually made more money on YouTube through brand collaborations rather than actual AdSense income. And again, that's another way you can make money on YouTube, not just from the adverts on YouTube, but working with brands and promoting their products within your videos. So obviously, you know, there are so many YouTube channels out there talking about sewing content, but don't let that deter you from starting. You have your own unique way of sewing and teaching other people. And I think that counts for something and people might really resonate with how you specifically talk about something. And that's why it's really important to just jump right into it. And if you want to start doing something, definitely do it. What is literally the worst that can happen? And I promise you, if you put the effort into actually uploading consistently and creating content that people resonate with, you'll definitely be able to monetize your YouTube channel. For some people, it might take a couple months. It might take a couple years, like in my case, but it will happen, honestly. Anyway, I hope these seven ideas help you diversify your income and start creating money with sewing online. Remember, if you're someone that likes to sew, but you don't even wanna turn your passion into a form of income, that's completely fine. This video is aimed at people that want to start earning money from their sewing. And these are just different ways that maybe will help you understand how you can do that. So me personally, I actually started sewing as a hobby and then I enjoyed it so much. I wanted to turn it into something more and into my full-time or part-time income. And you have to bear in mind that when you start sewing for income, it will change your relationship with how you view sewing as a hobby. And I think it's just important to set clear boundaries so you're not just working all the time because you enjoy sewing. You still need to reward yourself breaks and just allow yourself to relax. Sewing doesn't have to become literally a 24 seven task that you do. And I think those are obviously all personal things that you have to take into account, but it's healthy just to think about it going into it. So maybe later down the line, you don't feel really burnt out because you're always just sewing. But let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. And if there's any of these that you'd like to try yourself, I'll see you in the next one.